Hello everybody from America and from another country. I am a Russian man who brings value to my own experiences and I learn English to become an American man, maybe native, maybe not, but uh, I want to move to America or I want to visit at least America and visit at least Ireland. I like Ireland too. And uh, let's watch today one video called uh, a white woman by Bill Burr. Why will we watch it today? Because uh, I want to improve my comprehensions, uh, comprehension of listening. Because my speaking skills are good enough. I can explain anything in a way of uh, that you will understand me. I hope. And uh, about listening, it is kind of harder because you can't expect what another per person will say to you. And you should learn big amount of things, big amount of accents, big amount of comedies, jokes and cultural, cultural dots. Okay, and let's uh, go to watch it together. I don't know what it is. Bill Burr my, is my one of favorite comedians. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I think white women started it. <laughs> ah, it's the worst. Let's. I. I will make more sound for you that you will listen it more with. I will increase volume level. The fucking worst. It's all I do is bitch moaning and complain. I had no idea. Money and complaining. How difficult it was to be a white woman in the United States of America. <laughs> Evidently, it's, it's really difficult. <laughs> yeah, they're always bitching. Do you have any idea what it's like to be me? Well, I imagine it would be slightly less awesome than my life. <laughs> what happened to you today, sweetheart, huh? Did they not chill your rosé, you know? <laughs> Was the trolley not running down at the mall? What happened? Tro uh, trolley not running down at the mall. <laughs> like this type of things. Uh, trolley, I know the trolley... When I worked as a doorman in an hotel, five star, I I used I used specific a specific trolley. But uh, this is trolley... It is different from trolley in, uh, in supermarket. Yes, in supermarket you can find trolleys uh, smaller. No, it's unreal. I'm really fucking annoyed how white women have the fucking balls to throw my white privilege in my face, you know? <laughs> Sorry to separate themselves from these white males with their white male privilege. It's like, bitch, you're sitting in the jacuzzi with me. The fuck are you talking about? Yes, like, uh, I understand what, it's, uh, what uh, he's speaking about. Yeah, put your fucking whining. Look, right out of the gate. All right, if you're fucking, if you live in some honey boo boo lifestyle on the Appalachian Trail, you know, your uncle just banged you in the dirt. All right, I can listen to you. Ah, uh, I understood. Uh, he means that if you are shit enough, you are like a homeless and you live with ferrets and uh, you live on the corner of Low Avenue, then. Uh, you you can complain, but uh, right now you have a jacuzzi and something like this, and uh, don't need to be so, like, judgy. Now, one of my fantasies is I want to drive by, like, a woman's rally and just say the most sexist shit I can think of <laughs> just to watch them lose their minds. And I'll just drive by real slow and be like, yeah! you get back in the kitchen where you belong <laughs> <laughs> it is like you should go to kitchen girl <laughs> just to look in the rearview mirror watching him fly, flipping out in the road spinning around like leather face at the end of texas chainsaw massacre like leather face and then texas chainsaw massacre <laughs> leather face who is it is it like uh from horror, leather face. Need to Google who is it. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a character. Oh my God. Dead by daylight. Wow. 
<laughs> in Texas Chainsaw Massacre film, so recreated by Hengel and Tom Hooper. Okay, first. Okay. Funny. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a very, uh, I don't know, times are changing, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, Michelle Obama's doing an arena tour. That's another thing going on. I'm gonna say that again, Michelle Obama <laughs> is doing an arena tour. She's not playing comedy clubs, she's doing arenas. Arenas, what is? It is different words, not arenas, arenas, arena, arena, it is, I played in World Warcraft and I was fighting on arena to gain more conqueror badges, but was it, what is it? When did first ladies start acting like they got elected? <laughs> you know? To be the first lady, that's not a fucking job. Right? Look. First lady, I, is it, what's meaning of first lady? First lady, is it a girl of uh, girlfriend or a wifey of uh, president? Yes. One moment. First lady, meaning. In the US, the wife of official hostess or of a chief executive, especially of a state governor or a president, a woman considered to be at the top of her profession or are the first lady of jazz uh-huh i think it is only like uh, it is not profession yes exactly look how quiet is it in here why is it so fucking quiet you think that's a job it's not a fucking job dude if you really think it's a job just look at her Right? Look at Obama. When that guy got elected, he looked like he was about 41 years old. When he left office, that guy looked like he was about 73. Right? <laughs> Look at Michelle. She looks younger now than she did when that dude got elected. What has she done for the last eight years? Yeah, other than laying a giant vat of Illuminati level lotion, just sitting there floating. But of eliminate the level lotion. <laughs> a couple hours, a shapeshifter comes in and dumps another bucket on her head. My, my she pops her head up. Hey, Bam Bam, tell Stevie Wonder to come down and play some songs tonight. <laughs> now, I found out she's doing a tour because uh, she's doing a book tour. Book yeah, tour. she wrote a book. She wrote a book about not having a job. <laughs> Really? <laughs> like how to find a job? I gotta read that fucking book! Che Michelle Obama, one moment need to... Michelle Obama... Michelle Obama and here's... Should be... Book. What's kind of book? Becoming Michelle Obama, yes. American Grown. Become a guy that... Uh, Journal for discovering your voice, Michelle Obama. In okay, his her book. Becoming t -t -t Michelle Obama. Okay, I don't give a fuck about her. Chapter one: How to know if a dick tastes. I don't. I don't want to be rude to her. I mean that uh, it is not super interesting to Google someone who who I am not super familiar with. Presidential. <laughs> how to weed you? How to weed your way through all that local representative cock and get to the big swinging dick in the room? <laughs> oh Jesus! Uh, I right now I imagine what's the size of Barack Obama's dick? Hmm. Because it is maybe so scary to a girl even for the first lady to see, because uh, N-word people, they have really huge type of uh, Tommy banana. I'll tell you right now, say what you want about Republican presidents, but they got their first ladies in line. <laughs> they do. Dude, George W. was president for eight years. 
eight years. I don't even know his wife's name. <laughs> what was it, Abigail or some shit? Maggie? No clue. <laughs> Donald Trump's wife stands behind him like a giant meerkat, like... <laughs> a meerkat who is? A meerkat. A meerkat, is, it is animal. <gasps> no, I, I think that it is cat, like... Okay, 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 it is Surikat. It's a small mongoose found in southern Africa. A me meerkat in Russian language, what's the name of him? Need to Google. Surikat, yes. Okay, it is a uh, Russian name of him. <laughs> Bill Clinton was president, his wife never shut up. Ah, I want to do health care! Ah! He fucked around on her so much, he's like, all right, whatever, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out that fucking tour. I gotta see what that's all about, you know? Who opens? Who opens on that fucking tour? Was it Oprah Winfrey's husband, you know? Who is Oprah Winfrey? I hear about her a lot. Opera show, Oprah Winfrey's, who, who is she? Is she so popular in America and what kind of reputation do she have, does she have? Opera Winfrey, American host. Yes, television. She's a black... Okay, it is uh, not like a super, like, what I should, like, ju judge her for. And to look at this, at color, is an American talk show host, television production, actress, author, and philanthropist. Good, amazing. She is best known to, for her talk show, The Oprah Winfrey Show. Okay, broadcast from Chicago, which was the highest rated television program of its kind in history and ran in national syndication for 25 years from 1986 to, to 2011, dubbed the queen of all media. She was... She was the richest African-American of the 20th century and North America's first black multi-billionaire. And she has been ranked the greatest black philanthropist in American history. By 2007, she was sometimes ranked as the most influential woman in the world. Wow, and I didn't know about her. Maybe need to learn information about her. She looks like... Uh, I, I don't want to say that she has so... No. I understand that it is a kind of... She is not in my taste, I will say. I don't want to say that she is kind of uh, not beautiful. She is beautiful, but she is beautiful for someone else. Uh, it is not like for my taste. She looks like... Uh, granny? No. Okay, Oprah Winfrey, 20 years old. Let's go. Maybe she was... Oh, okay. Okay. Rihanna. Rihanna type. Okay, okay. Why is why is it so like uh, the the most coolest show? Need to google it. Maybe need to watch some some episodes. And uh, no need to judge a book w with her cover, cover and uh, no need to judge for appearance Igor. Are you dumb or d dumb fucking <laughs> stupid to judge for appearance? Need to be smarter. Okay, Igor, let's go. <laughs> it is like a talk of, oh, my precious, we need it. Uh, we need to watch some Oprah Winfrey show. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Does he fucking come out and talk about what it's like to walk her dogs? Dude, I'll see his, and I gotta bring him around. <laughs> Look, I'm sure that there's some uh, feminists in the crowd right now not appreciating this joke, feeling triggered, feeling like they need to <laughs> fucking put out a hashtag or some shit, and be brave and speak out. Speak out or speak up. I don't know what's the difference between speak up and speak out. You know what? You're full of shit. <laughs> You are. All, all those feminists are full of shit. Because I'm going to tell you right now, someday, 
Someday there's going to be there's going to be the first woman president. All right? Which means maybe which mean, you don't even want you don't even want uh, by the way, I thought about it uh, before like uh, we have president of woman in Germany and somewhere maybe else. But not in America, not in Russia, not in ah, Ukraine too. Or not? It is Timoshenko. Was it or not? Okay, let's let's continue. What a fucking platform is, and you automatically cheer. <laughs> uh, uh, it's got the same genitalia. Uh. <laughs> fucking! I'm telling you, they're not smart people. Feminists, they, they're not as smart as they're coming off. I'm telling you. Someday. He's so he's so brave to speak this uh, aloud because or maybe he's only psycho he's so brave to speak about these things and uh, because in america it is more hard it is harder to speak about these things in russia you can speak everything you can say n word to the left and to the right and uh, you can say f word for naming for naming gay and uh, someone with uh, LGBT community for left and right, but in America it is in other rules, and uh, I understand that it is uh, kind of uh, harsh and kind, uh, uh, harsh and uh, tough to say it on a stage. This gonna be. By the way, this is gonna be my last show ever. By the time this fucking thing comes out, someday there's gonna be the first female president, which means there's going to be the first male first lady, right? <laughs> and you wait, you fucking wait the first time that dude opens these feminists throwing me. You shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. It is her time now. It is her time. She was elected, not you. Go pick out some plates, bitch. You are the first lady. He's gonna get treated like Tom Arnold when he was with Roseanne. I, I don't know who is Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold. American actor. Tom Arnold. Roseanne Barr, former spouse. Tom Arnold is an American actor and comedian. He has appeared in several films, including True Lies, Nine Month. I don't understand them. Uh, I need to learn more cultural things. I really don't understand many of things that they are speaking about. Like, uh, I understand words, I understand like language, but I understand uh, cultural things that they speak about. Need to learn more about culture of America. Thank you a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, it was interesting to learn and I understand that I need to listen to this uh, frequently and then everything will be finer and uh, more uh, more applauding will appear to my knowledge <laughs> i mean that uh, like it will be a nice level of applause uh, it will be a nice level of uh, english and i will understand better everything thank you a lot for watching you are a nice guy or girl always improve yourself daily always try to always try to find a new way to learn English or another languages if you learn Russian or another things and uh, you can do this by watching comedy shows like this by reading books uh, maybe by by watching movies uh, by communication by by writing because I do also creative writing in English and uh, it is a really useful things and uh, it uh, increases your vocabulary and increases your imagination too. Thank you a lot. See you next time. Be cool and safe and uh, safe and sound and uh, take care. Bye.